Okay, um, another member of the workshop here, uh, Rob and the University of Dar es Salaam. Can you please uh, identify yourself? Hi, my name is Brian Kamansi. I'm from the University of Cape Town. I also work with the Popular Education Collective for Pathways to Free Education. Okay, great. Uh, Brian, so how did you find the first days, uh, the first day here at the conference? What were for you the highlights and was there anything new that you learned, etc.? Yeah, I thought uh, a very interesting interplay uh, between some of the members from the so-called Global North and Global South and then the debates about what the conditions have been historically. Uh, in relation to revolutionary struggle, um, debates around industrialization and how that relates to Nyerere's legacy in particular. I learned a lot about that and I'm still trying to learn and understand about what happened here in Tanzania and then reflect on what that means in a place like South Africa which was relatively more, more uh, industrialized. Um, I think that was what was really exciting is there was a lot of cross the floor debate, um, particularly about the post independence movement, what that meant, um, nationalism um, versus socialism, which comes first, do they come together, and what is required in order for that to happen. I think those are, everyone kept saying how those were old debates, um, but I think that very few people maybe mentioned how significant it is that they're coming to the fore again. It's less that they are old and less that they are new. It's more, what's more relevant is that people are trying to reassess the same questions with new eyes. Um, where many of those um, governments faced challenges, they failed, and now we live in a situation where we have to reassess and critically evaluate where we go forward. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm optimistic going into, into the next day. And okay. And, and curious to see also, we're going to be moving more towards some of the activist inputs and see how that complicates a more grounded uh, debate on what the tangible realities are in relation to the, the broader ideological disputes about what happened in Russia 100 years ago. Fantastic. And then just anything that was really new to you that you really learned? I mean, anything beyond what you already said so far? Yeah, I, I think uh, especially the, the comrades who came from East Africa added a lot of depth and historical specificity that you do not find in the one or two books on Kenya or Tanzania that you find in your local university library or school library. Um, so I would say to people that it's invaluable that uh, movement between the continent is very crucial and that there are things that simply cannot be understood through reading old, on old pamphlets or statements yeah. of organizations that we are in solidarity with. So we have to come here, we have to understand and engage and build relationships with people. So unfortunately, uh, some of the best things about programming happens in between the programming and I don't think that that's a bad thing and I think organizers are aware of this too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.